In addition to being able to survive in the rigors of the environment that you've placed your remote monitoring system in, you're going to want to make sure it can report back everything that you need it to report on. What matters most when you're choosing an RTU? Hi, I'm Jesse, and today I wanted to look at a few considerations that you're going to need to take in the mind as you're choosing a perfect fit RTU for your remote site monitoring. The first item that I wanted to take a look at today is the form factor of the device that you're looking at. So the first thing that you're going to want to consider is the form factor of the device and how it's going to be installed at the site that you're looking to monitor. Most RTUs will either come in a variant that's a one rack unit or sometimes as a DIN mountable unit that can be installed right alongside of the equipment that you're monitoring. The second item that I'd like to take a look at today is the voltage input into your RTU. So after you've decided on a form factor for your device, you're gonna to need to think about how this device is going to be powered. So when you're choosing a remote monitoring de device, you got to think about where it's going to be installed. Most radio towers don't have 110 volts AC available to them, so possibly your RTU is going to need to be powered with negative 48 volts DC, positive 24 volts DC, or possibly even power over Ethernet, depending on restraints at the individual site you're looking at. The next item I'd like to take a look at is the logical inputs into your RTU. So your RTU's inputs are really getting to the heart of what you're monitoring, whether it be discrete contact closures, continuous range VDC, current monitoring, a variety of sensors, or possibly other devices over a serial connection. The inputs that your RTU is equipped with are really going to determine its flexibility in your unique scenario. The last thing I wanted to take a look at today was protocol mediation and how that can be factored into your RTU as well. So the devices that you're looking to monitor will be talking to each other with a variety of different protocols, be it DCP, DNP3, SNMP, Modbus, or even ASCII. The perfect RTU for your site is going to depend on its ability to mediate those protocols back to your central monitoring station. So as you've seen, there's a lot of considerations that have to be taken into account when choosing a perfect fit RTU for your site. We've prepared a remote site survey that you can look at to help answer those questions for your unique sites. You can find a link to this below. Remember to like and subscribe this video if you found it useful. And remember, we're always here as your partners in remote site monitoring.